we doing guys? Welcome to another Friday Waffle. The weekend is just around the corner. Hope you've all had a, a good week. Um, my week's been not too bad. Um, what have I been up to? Gaming wise, um, not been playing too much apart from the usual suspects, been playing Berserk. Um, Ava and I have been playing Super Bomberman on, is it Super Bomberman 3 I think it is, on the SNES, on the meme cab. Um, it's brilliant fun. Um, one thing I like about the meme cab it's it's like back to the original uh, multiplayer back in the 80s instead of speaking playing against somebody and you know via a headset online at the other end of the world you're playing against somebody you've, you've got interaction you've got the banter because you're standing right beside the person so that's been brilliant fun and um, that's the games and um, what else have we been doing i was uh, i might i kind of touched on it on uh, was it thursday i didn't get a chance to make a video that's because i was up one of my mates uh, has built himself a meme cab, very similar to, to what I've got. Um, I went up on Thursday night to configure all the emulators for him, um, thinking it would take maybe a couple of hours to copy the files across on his computer. So I thought it would take a couple of hours um, and get it done. But uh, it was like something out of Lauren Hardy. <laughs> the trackball stopped working. So we had to take the back off the main cab and it turns out, uh, well, unplugging and plugging the, the trackball back in, got the, got the trackball working again. But uh, trying to put the back on the main cab, it was a tight fit, so uh, my mate decided to use the old fashioned way of fixing anything and that was by giving it a good old battery his hand. Um, so he did that, which proceeded to stop the monitor working. Um, so to get to it, we had to take out all the, the support bits of wood in the meme cab to get the monitor to free the monitor and it turns out that there's it's an LCD monitor there's buttons along the front with him giving a good old fashioned batter he had actually kind of switched I think he changed the channel or something on it so anyway that that ended up taking up about an hour and a half of the time and uh, instead of getting back for half past ten I got back at half past midnight um, never got couldn't get meme working for whatever reason so I'm going back up there uh, probably sometime this week to have a second crack, so that's that. Um, but yeah, that's been that. Um, so I've got a, where the hell is it? I've got a list of things here. It's quite a big list actually. Um, probably too much to cover in one uh, waffle. I mean, I do these things tend to go in a bit. Um, I mean, they seem to get longer and longer and longer. And I certainly don't want to run to an hour or anything like that. Right, the first first one I've got here, guys, is uh, what famous gaming franchises hold no interest for you and why. Now what I mean by that is, I mean there's obviously stuff like Zelda, Metal Gear Solid, the Mario games, the Sonic games. Is there a particular gaming franchise that's really popular that you just don't play? Um, my, uh, in the case of myself, I've, I've probably mentioned a couple there actually. Zelda, um, now I played, what was it, A Link to the Past, is that the one in the SNES? It's the, the, the famous one in the SNES, I think it's called A Link to the Past. I played that, I never ever quite completed it, but I really enjoyed it, it's like a fantastic game. I've since bought it on multiple platforms, I bought it on the N64, um, there's, I think there was two or three came out for the N64, I bought it on the GameCube, I bought it on the Wii, and I just never played them. Now that's, I don't know why, I mean I waste money buying these games, I've seen that I got a couple of them sort of second hand so it wasn't too bad. But it's one of these games, I've, I've tried it, I play it for a short time and then I think right I'll go back to it later on. And as, a case, as is the case with me, a lot of times I just never, I never end up returning to it. I think with me, um, and it's probably part of the reason I'm a, kind of, I enjoy retro games and it's like a lot of you guys probably as well. It's a time factor. You just don't when you're when you're a, an adult. <laughs> you've got a job. You've got responsibilities. You've got kids. You've got a wife. Whatever it is you, you do, you maybe have other, other interests. It's the time factor. I mean, I listen to a lot of podcasts, retro gaming podcasts, and you obviously I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and it's the same thing. People don't oh, they, they don't have much time to do these things. So these games that require a lot of. Uh, time investment I just simply don't play so things like uh, Zelda I just I would love to <laughs> I wouldn't say I would love to have the time to play them I probably would actually I would love to 
you know, have hours and hours and hours of spare time to actually invest in these games. Um, and I dare say, if you invest the time in them, then you, you're going to get back the enjoyment out of it. So yeah, Zelda, I bought the games. I uh, don't know why I bought them, because I just simply don't play them. Other franchises that I've never really been interested in. Again, it's similar kind of games. Um, Metal Gear Solid. I remember playing that on the, the PS1. I used to go across to one of my mates' houses, and he used to play it. And uh, it always it always looked amazing. But the thing for me is the bloody cutscenes. I mean, seriously, it's just cutscene after cutscene. Some of these cutscenes in Metal Gear Solid went on for like twenty minutes. Um, so yeah, I just never. It's a game. It's a gaming franchise that looks really really cool. I mean, some of the the graphics and the, you know the it just look awesome, but I just can't be arsed, I can't be arsed with all the cutscene shit, you know, it's all the, the window dressing that they put on these games, it just kind of bores me. It's the same with the Final Fantasy games, I would love to get involved in a game like that, but again, it's the cutscenes and they, they require so much time investment. Um, in fact, there's a bit of a pattern forming here with the stuff that I don't play, it's stuff that requires hours and hours and hours to play. Um, so that's why I tend to kind of avoid playing these kind of games. I'm trying to think of any other franchises that are, that, that kind of, you know, not so much the time investment. Driving games. Now, I love, <laughs> I love driving games on the 8-bit, 16-bit, I played a lot of them. And I always, I always looked forward to the day that I would be playing a game that looked super realistic and here we are, we've now got the technology, we've got the Xbox 360, we've got the PlayStation 3 but we've got machines that play photorealistic graphics so driving games, I should be in 7th heaven but for some reason I just, I don't know what it is I don't know what it is, it's maybe coming, it's, again it's probably down to the, the lack of investing, having the time to invest in these games I mean, you, you've got your stuff like, uh, well, Gran Turismo, um, which is a, a favourite, obviously, Steve Benway's, I know he plays a lot of that. There's your Forzas. You do need to invest time to get good, to get a, to get a kind of grip on the controls. You need to invest time in these things. Um, and so, yeah, there's a bit of a, a pattern for me with these games that require time investment. I simply don't play. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other games. Now, again, another franchise that I should love and I did enjoy in the early days is football games, FIFA. Now I loved I loved football games. Sporting games are probably my favourite kind of uh, genre on the 16 bit, 8 bit, the Commodore 64. Um, and when the PlayStation came out and I got was it international superstar soccer, um, I, I was always a big fan of and or Pro Evolution I think it became. It started off as International Superstar Soccer on the N64, then I think it started on the SNES actually, complete with uh, Roberto Baggio had his kind of ponytail and that kind of thing. But then the franchise became, that was by Konami, the franchise became Pro Evolution Soccer. And I remember getting it when the PlayStation, I think the, the second one came out on the PlayStation as well. And I just thought it was amazing. I played it all the time. I loved it. Sensible Soccer, favourite game ever. Played hours and hours and hours and hours of these football games. But then they started getting more and more and more involved. Special moves, you know, different buttons. And I think the more involved they got, I just became, I didn't become bored. I just couldn't be arsed. Couldn't be arsed make an effort to learn to play these games. Now, I mean, I've, I've got, I think the last one I got was FIFA 13. I got it for, I, I got it on eBay for not a lot of money. And I played it, and I remember thinking, oh, this is really, really good. But again, I just kind of lost interest. I think games have just become too complicated. And maybe it's because that's that's possibly part of the reason. I'm quite a, I like my games to be simple. Case in point, Berserk. Joystick to move, fire button. That's it. Um, and obviously these games, you can, you can play a game in 10 minutes or less, whatever. So yeah, it's probably that's with me, it's down to lack of time. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to hear your uh, thoughts on, uh, on these guys. Is there any famous gaming, popular gaming franchises that you simply, you're not interested in? And uh, if so, what's the reasons? So yeah, that's that one. Um, that was that one. This is, this is a quick one. Checkpoints or saves. 
Now, one thing that um, in games, again, it's possibly part of the reason why I can't be arsed with kind of modern games. You play a level, you start a level, and you maybe get 20 minutes into it, and you die, and you go back to start. Case in point is, what's the game I've got there? Killzone Shadowfall on the PS4. Burden me. That, and also uh, Bioshock Infinite. Is it Infinity? Whatever it's called. Infinite, I think it is. Um, I've got to almost the last level. Um, with Killzone, maybe not quite the last level. But I've got really, really far in. But I'm now, oh, excuse me, my, my voice went up a few act <laughs> octaves there. Um, I'm now, uh, I've got I've got to certain levels in both these games and I've, I've tried them, I don't know, a dozen times, if not more, and I just kind of get past it. And the problem is, you get, you've got to play it for 10, 15 minutes, you die, you go right back to start the level. Play it for 10, 15 minutes, you die, you go right back to start the level. So I've lost interest in these games because I can't be asked. I can't be bothered having to sit and replay only to die to then do it again and again and again and again. What I liked about the old days, I mean, I, I mentioned Doom. Doom was one of these games, you know, you could play in obviously different difficulty levels. But what I loved about Doom, you could just kill a body, save, kill a body, save, kill a body, save. Now some people might say, well, that's making it too easy. Well, maybe it is, but at the end of the day, nobody's making you save a game. You, nobody makes you save a game. It's up to you when you save it. Um, so I liked the fact that you could save a game. You know, you always got to a bit in a game where you had a, a bohairy energy, you know, hardly any ammo, and you had 15 million bodies to kill. You'd have to pick them off one by one. And if you were playing that in a modern console, you would probably kill so many, die, go back to start. Kill so many, die, go back to start. Whereas with Doom, you were able to kill a body save, kill a body save, you know, just keep kind of moving on sort of thing and progressing in the game. So yeah, I liked, I did like the old school, uh, I mean saying that, the original 8-bit games, 16-bit games didn't have the ability to save games. Arcade games are playing meme, you can't save them, but big kind of epic adventure type things on the PC, I don't know if it, is that still the case on the PC, I don't know, um, I don't play games on PC anymore, um, but I liked the ability to actually be able to stop and uh, uh, you know save as and when I want sort of thing so yeah listen I'm going to just cut this video because it's going to cut out I can restart back in a second okay I'm back again uh, I'd rather cut it off rather than it cuts me off so yeah um, what are your thoughts on that checkpoints or save on demand um, I personally prefer the ability to save a game as and when I want to as opposed to uh, getting to the end of level because it just gets too frustrating for me so yeah that's that one the next one is a uh, it was something what was in fact I'll tell you exactly what it was I was uh, giving blood last night it's something I'd, I've been doing for many many years um, I, I enjoy doing it I enjoy the feeling it gives me after I've done it um, but it's quite funny I was looking at my, don my donations and I think it's 32 donations or something and it got me thinking as I was coming back in the car last night. It got me thinking. Now this is this so this particular bit isn't just related to uh, gaming. It, it replaced other it, it sort of applies to other things. It's kind of weird how we've become a society obsessed with like achievements and you know numbers. Um, case in point, I gave blood and I'm like, oh that's 32, you know, next time, I can't wait to get to 40, it's like any, you know, it's like a mark of how many times I've given blood. It's the same with a lot of things. You know, when you think about, I mean obviously you've got the, the online games, you've got the Xbox, gamer points, achievement unlocked, you get points, people want as many points as they can get. You know, why, why do we become obsessed with wanting points? Is it to show, you know, um, how good you are at a game, I don't know. Um, the PlayStation's obviously got, they've got unlockables, I think it is, whatever it's called, I, I can't remember exactly. But even things like, I don't know if you guys are on Facebook, you know, people are obsessed with like how many friends I've got and how many likes they get. Um, it's a bizarre thing, it's a bizarre thing. It's not, it's not something that existed, you know, 20 years ago. It seems to be in a kind of modern day culture now, you know, all about 
tweets, how many tweets you get, how many replies you get to things. Um, yeah, it's a strange, strange thing. It's, as I say, it's a completely off topic, it's really nothing to do with retro games, but it's a bizarre concept how we've become this uh, society that we're, we're obsessed with, how much people like what we post and that. That's obviously, a th that's obviously something that's going to come about with social media, you know, we're, we're determined to, we're obsessed with wanting people to like what we post and how many times it's been shared and all oh, this malarkey, you know, so yeah, that, that's a strange one. Um, what was the other one I was going to talk about? Uh, this was one that uh, Chris Ashant uh, actually touched on. I think he was mentioning it from somebody else. I can't remember offhand who it was. And it was Gaming Mojo. Have you all, I'm sorry, have, have you ever lost your Gaming Mojo? I think it's something that every gamer does go through from time to time. Um, I know I've certainly gone through it from time to time as well. It's, it's a bizarre thing. I mean, I love, absolutely love my video games, as, as you know. Um, I've got hundreds of thousands of games here, um, probably too many, that's probably part and parcel. I don't, I don't play any game, you know, I, I tend to dip in and out of games too much rather than get a kind of draw for a game. But what's, how do you get your mojo back? Um, I tend to find that if I just, I, I pick, I mean, I, I find, you know, MAME arcade games, they're fantastic because it's we can eat bite size bites of gaming, if, if you will. It's uh, you don't have to invest a lot of time into a game. So I find if I'm if I'm kind of losing my, my gaming mojo, just pick a game and start playing it. Um, or else, if you pick a, a kind of current game, you know, and make a point. One of these games I was talking about earlier on, pick a game that takes a bit of time to play and get into it because you start getting a feel for the characters, you get a feel for the plot. It starts getting quite addictive. It gets to the point where you can't wait. You know, you save it and you can't wait to, to fire it up the next day and get back on, um, get back playing it again. So yeah, um, have you lost your mojo? What's caused it? And how do you get it back again? Um, yep, that's that. Now there was one more I was going to play. What the hell was it? Was it? There was another thing I was going to mention. Touch on, and I can't remember for life of what it was. No, can't remember. No, that's it. So, anyway, listen, guys, um, this has been, I think it's quite a short uh, Friday waffle, but I didn't want to go on because I, I have noticed I tend to kind of warble on a bit too much at times. So, anyway, yep. Um, just one last thing before I go um, Steve Benway. Hope things are picking up soon. Um, all you guys will know Steve. I know he's going through a bit of a hard time at the moment with, with stuff. Um, I certainly miss miss his videos. Um, the Friday waffle is always a highlight for not Friday waffle. <laughs> that's my Friday waffle. Um, the Friday talkie. That's always a highlight for for my week watching that. Um, so I hope things pick up soon, Steve, and I look forward to seeing you back uh, actively on YouTube again. So anyway, listen guys, um, that is it. I think there's nothing else I want to talk about. Um, there was something, but I can't for life think what the hell it was. Uh, da, 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 what the hell was it? Okay. Nah, can't remember. That's, that's old age kicking in. So anyway, listen guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments. Um, if you like the video, please consider hitting the like. And if you want to see more of these videos, you might want to consider liking, or not liking, subscribing to my channel. Uh, have a good weekend, guys, and as usual, thanks for watching. Sorry, guys, I remembered what it was. Um, <laughs> when you play a game, um, as, as you know, games nowadays, as I've touched on earlier on, um, gaming achievements, you get points, uh, unlockables, etc., for doing various things. Now, are you one of these people who want to get 100% everything in a game? Um, I do know that that can uh, make a massive difference to how long, how much you can get from a game, you know, I mean, the thing about a lot of the games, you can probably run through them fairly quickly. Um, I mean, if you're anything like me, you get to end a level and it'll say secrets found, 0 of 10, um, special items found, 1 of 8, whatever. I'm not one of these people that can be arsed going back in and finding them. 
Um, I just play a game to kind of get through. I wouldn't say get to get through as quickly as possible, but because you lack your time and lack your skill, gaming skill when it comes to these these type of things, I can't be arsed faffing about looking for the last gem or whatever it is. So I tend to kind of go through games fairly quickly. Um, in fact, <laughs> I mean it's a bit of a shameful admission, but I actually play a lot of games. I find modern games now quite difficult. Um, it sounds a bit mental because you you put a 20, 20, 30 year old or younger person in front of Robotron and I give you I give you the last 30 seconds to a minute, if that. Um, but when it comes to, so I mean I, I've got the, I suppose the, my, my skills come from uh, being fairly, fairly decent at kind of twitchy kind of arcade games. Um, but put me in front of a game where you've got to, I don't know, you've just got to unlock bloody God knows how much stuff. I just can't be arsed with it. So I tend to try and kind of, I play games usually on easy level. Um, if it's too easy, then I'll put it up to medium. I usually start a game in medium, um, but because I've got such a massive backlog of, sort of current gen games, or when I say current gen, I mean like 360, um, PS3, um, because I've got such a massive backlog, I'm conscious that I'm not, I've not got enough t time left in this earth to play all these games, so I would much rather go through them on easy um, and try and kind of get to the end than simply be stuck on one particular level and not get anywhere with it. So yeah, um, but yeah, I'm certainly, I can't be arsed with this 100% completion thing. I've got a few mates, and the one mate in particular, he is absolutely, he's obsessed, and he's the first guy to admit it, he's absolutely obsessed with getting 100% on every game he plays. Um, and he does. He completes, I mean, he, you know, he's, he's completed games in the Wii, the 360, and he does, he gets like 100% gaming points. I think his uh, 360 gaming points were something like, I don't know, 50,000 or whatever it was. It was something something ridiculous. Um, I mean, a mark of how, I suppose you could say, a little effort I actually put into kind of maximising as much as I can get from a game is the fact that, considering I've been on Xbox Live for... I don't know, when did it start? I've been on Xbox Live since it started, how many years ago? Um, I mean, I'm not a member now. And my gaming points, I think my gaming points is something like, is it 5,000? Maybe not even as much as that. It's, it's, it's fairly low, in fact, it's very, very low. I think my mate, one of my mates, uh, he actually got more gaming points in a year than I've got in all these years that I've been playing. So yeah, do you, do you play games to complete 100%? Or are you just interested in getting through the story and getting to the end and then moving on to the next game? I know I'm like that. Um, I do know that, you know, you've got, you get games like Grand Theft Auto 5 and what's the one, Skyrim and all these kind of, sort of RPG type things. You've got to go from like A to B, but on the way from A to B, there's little side missions. So there's all these wee side missions and things like that you've got to do. Um, I do know that, uh, what's the game I'm playing just now, well I've, I've, I've hardly touched on it, is Watch Dogs. Um, I do know there's various side missions again, and that's that's all great and good, um, I say, but personally, I don't know, I just can't be, I can't be asked what these things, so I'd be interested to know what's, uh, what's your thoughts on these ones guys, but anyway, listen, this is the end of the Friday Waffle, I know it's a bit of a short one, I actually thought it was going to be longer because I had quite a few things to talk about, um, but anyway, have a good weekend guys and uh, thanks for watching.